So, we got some weather behind us, and we're about to go down to this little spot that it, I know it'll be good because we got an incoming tide, which is my favorite. The water's gonna be real high, so we're gonna get all the bait flushed in, and I'm gonna cast nest some bait. I'm not gonna tell you what kind of bait because it's a secret right there, that's a secret. And the last time I did this, during that incoming tide. It wasn't even nighttime yet, but it was right before uh, sunset. The snook were fired up. Like they were going crazy, eating everything. So, let's see if I can get it on film today. This is gonna be awesome. If, if, if the conditions are right and it's not storming on my head, then I have a really good feeling that we'll catch some fish. Look at the size of this glass metal. Jesus. Some croakers. I'm gonna just put this up. These are croakers. Very good bait. Uh, where you get croakers from? Yeah, they'll usually just run around sort of here. Shit, man. How much you want for some? <laughs> if I can get some more, that's I'll get you some. That's all that fucking reds are eating right now. Live croakers. Reds out here now? Man, Port Orange. If you go to the pier. Yeah. Dunlawn? Dunlawn? Dude, dude pulled seven of them out. Really? 32 pulled. Jeez, like, that's nice. Fuck, that was that's really nice. nice. There's usually going to be some yeah. big schools of them with this incoming tide. I should be able to get a lot more. Let's get this here aerator in the bucket. I should probably invest in some new batteries because I've been using this one for a while and the battery will probably die soon. Until then, should be good. Well, let's see if we can get a couple more baits. The croakers are everywhere. And so is the lightning, so. You might not be here too long. What? If there's a snook or two around, they might hopefully eat my bait. Get me a fish. Hey, mate. Damn, that is a monster. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out of the dock. Come this way, buddy. Oh my god. 100%. Without a doubt. Oh. Oh man. Oh. oh no. Come here, buddy. No. Should be good because I got. Oh no, he's wrapped. He is wrapped. Which is not a good thing because I have 40 pound leader and this could very well break. I'm right here, buddy. Come here. No, come here. Come here, come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Ah. Oh my god. 
<sighs> Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Could be my PB, not gonna lie. Thank you. Sorry? Uh, no, I just cast an edit a uh, little croaker. Oh. Whew. Damn. That's a fat one. Uh, sure. If you could, thank you. Yeah, no problem. There we go. Come here, man. That is a thick one. Yeah, thick Jeez. one. 33. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, yeah. That's thank you. Thank you, man. Right there, man. I got, I got you just sit down right there. Appreciate it. Yes, sir, man. Hey, man, good job. Thank you. Oh man, that is the thickest snook I've ever caught in my life. Holy hell! <laughs> Thought it was gonna be longer. The way he was fighting. Look at that thing. Put the back on. Oh, that's special. First bait. Wow, there he goes. Let's see if we can get one more before this storm hits. And it's about to hit any second now, so maybe we're gonna move on it. Let's go catch me another snook real quick. I was sort of just reeling it in kind of slow towards me. He crushed it. And that's like one of the best feelings in the world. When you get a snook, like a big snook to hit it. Oh my God. That bait just lost it for a second. Like I sent it out there and it was sort of drifting this way. There's a whole bunch of rocks under that uh, bridge piling. So just reeling it in kind of slow, you know, taking my time and then Boom, he crushed it. Now they sit right under that dock too, but I want to stay kind of close to this bridge because that storm is very big. And, you know, it's not smart to be on the open in a storm. Most people know that. If I could just get one more snooker to chomp the bait, then it would be good. My bait is kind of freaking out. Come on. Give me just one more, then I can call it a day. But then the thing is, if I do ask for one more and catch it, then I'm gonna want another one. So, fishing is a dangerous game, man. What the hell is that? A squirrel or a bird, and uh, now I have seaweed. Jesus. It's looking super sketchy out here right now. Worse than it was earlier. A lot worse. I don't know if you ever see that. The sky is black over there. Just a tiny bit closer. Oh shit. Yep. That's probably my cue to get out of here. That lightning was kind of bright. And close. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's time. Well, we had a good run. It's time for me to leave. Nice and bright over here. Now look at that. Holy shit. Whew. Wow. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, they got the snow, so that's cool. Oh, no. Let's get that over here. <sighs> Would you look at that? Yep, she's a big one. Should I give it a shot? Free waffle. That's kind of, that's that's some bread right there. Nice shift, twenty dollars an hour. Waffle house. See, I would do that. I mean, twenty dollars an hour. That's not bad at all. But then, holy shit, this AC is killing me. But then you got a situation where it's a waffle house, and you got to think that through. You know, being at a waffle house at night. That's not. That's not what I'm trying to do. And then, secondly. It's, what is it? The night shift is from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. 9 to 7 a.m. That's the night shift. That's, hell nah. I want to be asleep at that time. That's, no, that's crazy. I mean, that's some good money. And you get, you know, maybe tips. But still, 9 p.m. To 7 a.m. is just ridiculous. Anyways, I got the snook on film, which is really cool. Unfortunately, we are not able to fish right now because I don't know if you just look outside, it's you know, just raining a tiny bit, just a little bit. But yeah, man, I thought that fish was gonna be like a when I saw the head come out of the water and just jump, and I saw the body, like it was so fat, it was so thick. I've never seen a snook like that, like in person. I thought it was gonna be like a 40 inch or like, or at least like 35, 36, you know? Something big. And that thing was screaming drag too, which is crazy. Like it, that, that, that thing fought so hard on the light tackle, it's so fun. I should probably get another rod because if he didn't swim out of the bridge and he went into the bridge, I would have lost that fish guaranteed. Anyways. Holy shit, that was right in front of me. Woo! Oh my god, that scared the poop out of me. Alright, anyways. I'm usually not phased by lightning and thunder, but that one that one got me, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully this lets up, you know. Usually storms in the summertime in Florida don't last that long. They usually blow over pretty quickly in like about 30 minutes. So we'll see. And hopefully we can, you know, I know the bait will still be there. But I hope that we can get on maybe some bigger jacks, maybe a bigger snook. Still searching for that 40 incher, man. Haven't got it yet, but I'm close. My PB is 35. So if I can get a 40, that would be crazy. That would be awesome. It might not be here. I might have to take a trip, you know, down south or to the west coast or something. West coast of Florida. But you never know. Tonight could be the night. You never know. Well, stay tuned. Might be back out here. Might be back home. I don't know. We'll see.